Before he became one of history's most important political figures, a young Winston Churchill earned a reputation for courage and bravery during the Boer War in South Africa after a daring escape from a POW camp in Pretoria. Churchill's great escape in the Boer War. He came to South Africa as a war correspondent at the age of 24. Churchill arrived in South Africa and joined a British reconnaissance trip in an armored train. In November 1899, a Boer commando ambushed the train with a large boulder on the track, which derailed three trucks. There was a fierce battle between the Boers and the British soldiers. He managed to get the train free by ramming the truck out of the way eventually. And as he sped away with the wounded, just before the blow cross river, he jumped off the train to rejoin Captain Haldane. But then he was taken prisoner. Churchill and the other prisoners were marched off to a POW camp in Pretoria. And immediately Churchill said, I need to escape here. As it was getting dark on the 12th of December, 1899, Churchill took his chance. He scaled the fence of the camp and hid in the garden of the house next door. There was a dog chasing a cat and the cat ran into Churchill and Row! and there were two men outside and they said, what's going on? Oh, it's just the dog and the cat and Churchill was safe. The fugitive didn't have a map. He couldn't speak the local language and had no food, but he firmly believed he could safely cover the 300 mile journey through enemy territory to Portuguese East Africa. He laid low during the day and only traveled at night. After days on the run, he spotted the fires of a colliery. Exhausted, he took an enormous risk and knocked. An Englishman, John Howard, opened the door. And Howard said, thank God you came to this place because it's the only house in 20 miles where you would not have been handed over. And they hid him in the mine shaft for a few days. The Boers launched a massive manhunt with posters offering a reward for Churchill's capture, dead or alive. Despite grave personal danger, John Howard was able to smuggle Churchill onto a freight train. A train that took him through Kamati Port down to Lorenzo Marx, and from there he went with the Induna ship to Durban, where he was welcomed to this hero because everybody by then had heard of this miraculous escape. From there he joined General Buller on the Natal front again, now as a lieutenant of the South African Light Horse, also as still war correspondent. Pretoria fell to the British in June 1900, and Churchill took part in the liberation of 180 British soldiers. He returned home and won a seat in Parliament, eventually becoming Great Britain's most renowned wartime leader, all thanks to his great escape. <laughs>